Well, if you're listen it. to this lineup of moralising witches. <laughs> Janet, no, just we be on. kind to each other on this program. I call know. each other wi witches. Come on. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're counting down our picks for the top ten heated arguments on loose women. Don't be too faced. I'm not being too faced. I'm trying to comfort you. Comfort me. Well, all right. I'm I'm just a minute. I'm speaking now. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're going to be looking at the biggest rows and debates on ITV's lunchtime chat show. Let us know in the comments who your favorite loose women panelist is. Number 10. The Crown In 2020, Netflix's prestigious but controversial period drama The Crown was back in the news. Series 4 launched and people were once again debating whether Princess Diana was mistreated by Prince Charles. Uh, with friends of Prince Charles accusing the hit TV show of, in their words, trolling on a Hollywood budget. That included the Loose Women panel. It would turn on whether Charles was the villain or yet another victim of the so-called firm. Now, I've always been Team Diana. I've always felt really sorry for Diana being in a loveless marriage and everything. But last night watching the show, I don't know how true it was, but I just mm. felt really sorry for Charles. People would turn on just how historically accurate The Crown is, suggesting it needs a disclaimer, despite the fact it's never claimed to be a documentary. In the end, though, it's not like anybody on Loose Women knows the true ins and outs of what went on in the royal household back in the 80s. They said, oh, are you in love? They asked, I remember they asked Diana if she was in love, and he says, well, whatever love is. That's not nice for a girl. No, I, un I understand next that. Next to your prince. But they're, to they're the royal that. family, and there's a protocol that they have there's to go through. There's a protocol. Number nine, getting dad's permission. A massive debate broke out between the entire panel about whether it's the right thing to do to ask a woman's father for his permission to propose. I'm just going to glance to my oh. left here and I, I, I think feel like feel I'm a hundred what, years ago. What your ago. thoughts are? Ask for a hand in marriage. I mean. Where are we? <laughs> Nadia was firmly of the opinion that it's completely unnecessary for someone's father to be consulted in the modern age, and that it's the woman who decides. My fellow went, could I get, went to my dad and asked him. Would you? For Why? my hand in my, ask me, don't go and ask somebody. But she didn't have the support of the whole panel. Kay's partner said that while he thinks it's old fashioned, he'd like his daughters to ask their parents' opinions anyway. I wouldn't expect any young guy to be asking permission to marry Charlie or Bonnie. But on the other hand, I would hope that Charlie or Bonnie would want to know if I thought it was a good idea. Others still thought that it was just being polite to engage with the old tradition and you're not actually asking for permission. But I still <laughs> was quite happy when he said, I want to go and talk to your da dad dad about yeah, it. I can't yeah. believe you're all so soppy. I'm usually the soppy but one. Don't you think on here? Sort of Number eight, kids with smartphones. It's a question that's been raging since the 2000s. Should children be allowed mobile phones? Specifically, this debate from 2021 was about how old someone should be until they're allowed a smartphone, given the fears many parents have about social media. But when she got secondary school, she it was almost like she was illiterate because mm. she knew nothing about the apps. The way that kids contact each other is through the apps, so you do need that you need the internet and all that. It's a tough question because while the risks are real, kids won't be able to fit in with their peers if they don't have a smartphone. Even if we were the strictest parents in the world and we went, you're going to secondary school, you will not have a phone. Your child will suffer at school because of that. Still, is the content some kids can be exposed to on social media dangerous enough that it's worth making that tough decision? And should we try to stop big tech from monetizing the things children do online? But then you've got the tech giants who themselves have admitted they will not let their children get onto social media. And they're the ones that yeah. have created this. Ultimately, the panel can't decide on a verdict. So they think they're just looking at content for free. Yeah. But then they are the actual product. Number seven, history. 
It remains a point of contention in modern Britain exactly what parts of British imperial history should be taught in schools. When he, Maddie had a real passion for history and actually when he looked into the GCSE curriculum for history, he was horrified. There was a debate in summer 2020 about whether the national history curriculum should be revamped to incorporate more of the negative sides of British history. But it's interesting you say interpretation because I don't know if I agree with that. Isn't it more excluding the bad bits of the people we like to see as saints or heroes? Not only that, Stacey thought the curriculum should focus more on Britain in general rather than looking at American history and shouldn't shy away from the darkest parts of world history more generally. I would say that the Holocaust, slavery when I was at school, it was kind of just that happened, let's move on and, and let's the talk about, always about America, wasn't it? it? Is, they it never reflect on English yeah. slavery. I, I think... However, Kay thought all this was a matter of personal opinion and it's impossible to know which interpretation of history, if any, is the correct one. Yeah, it's, but, but Ranvir, sure. then you're getting back to interpretation and, and that is your interpretation, which I would happen to agree with in a lot of ways, but, you know, people coming from a different perspective will have a different perspective. Number six, cheating. Following a cheating scandal on Corrie, tensions were high in the Loose Women studio. The big debate was about whether a one-night stand actually counts as cheating or not. If that hadn't happened and you'd had a one-night stand, I wouldn't even call it... I, you don't think you should have any guilt attached to that whatsoever. That doesn't really count. Even if you're married? Oh, yeah. Janet thinks if it was just for one night, then it doesn't actually count, much to the shock of everybody else on the panel. Yeah, but what's the point in getting married? Whether yeah, it's well, cheating is cheating. <laughs> yeah, cheating is cheating. If oh, you, if you're gonna... listen to this lineup of moralizing witches. <laughs> as well as that, she thinks you shouldn't reveal to somebody's partner that they've cheated regardless. Despite Janet explaining her reasoning, she can't get through to the others. What initially seems like a cut-and-dry issue gets very complicated, with debate raging about whether it's ever all right to cheat if you're in an unhappy marriage or whether your marriage vows always come first no matter what. I just think you should treat people how you would like to be treated and I wouldn't want to be cheated on. So um, if I'm committed to that person and I've said I do, that means for life for me. Number five, child discipline. This time in the studio, a viral video of a mother shaving her daughter's hair off for being a bully causes a debate around when child discipline goes too far. Particularly in the UK, this is a volatile issue with a huge spectrum of opinions. Right away, things heat up between Nadia and Colleen. You right, said she could be a great bullied. mother. You cannot be a great mother and abuse your I child don't like agree, that. That Nadia. is abuse. I don't That's agree. abuse. Nadia says that the child probably learns how to be a bully from her mother, while Colleen is sympathetic to the mother and thinks it's possible she's already tried everything to deal with her misbehaving daughter. Yes, they are communication being talked to, but we are living at not the moment violence. with a lot of feral children. Violence That's all I can say. Violence. Because they've got feral children because oh, they haven't been healthier, brought so. up properly in the first place. Uh, the debate moves on to be about child discipline in general, with Nadia of the belief that you should put a hand on a child for any reason. If an adult does something to us, is it all right to either shave their head off, hit them or no. bite them? Be illegal. Right? So where is the sanity that it's all right to do that to a defenceless child? It just doesn't work. I don't think it works. Number four, Dominic Cummings. Back in the midst of the first lockdown, one scandal ruled above all others. Dominic Cummings' family trip to Durham, which he broke the law by doing. He is a member of this government. He's the second most powerful man in this country, and they should be leading this nation in a time of crisis to show us what true leadership is about. And I'm really sorry, but that is not acceptable. Just like in the rest of the country, the panel was divided. He was in a car with his wife and children. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Oh, I feel sorry for but him, that, honestly, because he's damned if he does and he's damned if he no. doesn't. Why do you feel sorry for him? I just do. Linda said she actually felt bad for Cummings for the media storm his Barnard Castle eye test caused, while Syrah Khan thought Cummings should have apologised and taken some responsibility for his actions, considering he broke the law. But Janet, do you know but he what? He doesn't think he's done wrong. But That's I, the but, whole but, point, but, but, Syrah. He, I, in his but head, Janet, he how can he? But Janet, Janet, on the other hand, was firmly of the opinion that he didn't really do anything wrong because, being in his car with his family, he couldn't have spread anything anyway.
Number 3. Katie Hopkins the most reviled public figure in the UK, Katie Hopkins once again ruffled feathers during a 2015 appearance on Loose Women. Do you ever regret saying it or feel you should apologise? No, I don't regret saying anything that I've said because I'd stand by it. Colleen wanted to know if Hopkins ever regretted a single thing she'd said, even when she was making personal digs at people rather than actually arguing for one of her political positions. As well as that, she was outright rude to the regular panelists, getting on the wrong side of the loose women audience. Yeah, but if you let me answer, no, I'm going to answer. I am going to answer if we let me answer, of course. Um, and the thing I would say is, you know, there are hard things that are said. They're there to listen to Janet and Colleen more than Katie Hopkins, of course. She's so abrasive, she even puts Janet to shame, usually the most divisive person on the show, and gets into a debate about the welfare system. Hold on, I'll just answer your question, shall I? Yeah, uh, but someone you, in the I'm audience is awesome. Question. If you ask me a question, then it's probably useful if I answer it. Or we Don't can just, you can just chat. me. I'm asking you. Then I'll answer a your question. If She's you ask a me a question, player. I'll answer it for you. Number two, Miss GB. Zara Holland held the coveted Miss Great Britain crown until she made the mistake of appearing on Love Island. Any brand, I think the same thing would have happened. Having sex on national TV as well is not okay. She got steamy with another contestant, but because of her status as a representative of the country, she had her Miss GB crown taken away. She hit back at the organizers for taking away a reward and job she said she worked hard for. So Hi. is that your crown? I've still got mine at home. Well, so you didn't you give, give it, it back? back? No. Why? It's beautiful. It looks wonderful. When I've worked so hard for something, why do I want to give that back? I won. She was brought on to Loose Women, along with Dion Robertson, the runner-up who became the new Miss GB after Holland's dismissal. And Holland didn't exactly take this defeat graciously. Dion didn't win on the night. So, that, so you still don't think she deserves it? No. She was very clear that she didn't believe Robertson deserved the crown, saying Robertson and the other finalists should have refused in protest against Holland's treatment. But you don't have to take it if you don't want but to. It was my dream as well as it was your dream. But you didn't you win on the night. Up, but you gave it up. I didn't give it up. Number one, Kim Woodburn. Her furious outbursts on Celebrity Big Brother quickly became the stuff of legend, with Woodburn blowing up on a daily basis, seemingly over nothing. Don't be two-faced. I'm not being oh, two-faced. I'm trying to comfort, don't comfort you. me. Well, all right. I'm I'm just a minute. I'm speaking now. Also in the house that year was Colleen Nolan, and their feud was legendary, with Woodburn deriding Nolan as two-faced and calling the other housemates the gang. With Janet as judge, they wanted to get to the bottom of the feud, but the show made matters much worse. Woodburn remained prickly and Nolan unremorseful about whatever happened in the house. I tell you what I did. I just didn't tell you how vile you are from day no. one. That's you what I should have done. You my dear. You're a horrible, self-centered, publicity-seeking witch. The situation got so messy that both women were reduced to tears and Woodburn stormed off saying she was tricked into coming on. I wouldn't want to sit and talk to lion well, trash Well, I think like that's you. sad. I think we should have played oh, lion trash. Yeah, oh, not good. So you think what you like? a terrible thing to say. So show oh, yourself in your true... Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.